Hi, I'm Liz and I bought a 32 foot project canal boat for my first home. Two things I've always wanted in life, to be mortgage free and to be able to travel. Buying a canal boat seemed the perfect idea. Follow me as I restore her into a luxurious home on a budget and explore the British waterways. Okay, so I've been at this spot for a day and um, well, two days actually and I think it's about time I moved even if it's just a little bit oh, I'm really scared again I know it's adrenaline but yeah I do feel afraid hopefully I can just do this it's 7 o'clock I prefer going at this time because there's not going to be many people yeah Let's just do this. Back at it. Oh. It seems down there looks quite busy. It seems to be quite a few boaters. I'm not going to be parking down there anyway. I'm going to go down there and then get to the junction. That was supposed to be out. I think it's the Norton Junction. And turn left. There's no armoured side rail, so better uh, hammer it in with pins. Oh, God. This episode is just literally going to be me being incredibly rude. So I hope the pins hold the night, because if they don't, we Liz was going to be in trouble in the morning. Oh, it's time to relax. I don't understand, but nothing works in the boat. I've had to put fairy lights on. The engine works. But it says the batteries are at zero. I don't get it. Is it the fuse? I don't know about fuses. I just... I just... Yeah. Okay. Right. Excuse me while I get some bloody light in here. Right. So, okay. Stuff isn't working inside, so does that mean I have to get to the fuse box? I... <laughs> this says everything's on. Right, okay. What does this mean? So every everything looks attached though. Everything looks like it's attached. What do I know? Nightmare of an evening. So I've got a toolbox. And what I'm going to do is 
Um, let's lift this up first, shall we? Let's pop you. Where shall I pop you, hey? Shall I pop you here? So I'm going to swap over these batteries. But I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I do because my brother-in-law, I've just called him and he's just told me. So I'm going to see what happens and hopefully I won't electrocute myself. Hey. Unfortunately, the only pair of pliers I have are metal ones and I don't think that's a good idea, is it? I thought it might be the fuse work, but it's not. I think it's the batteries and they're just dead. Um, don't know or well, I've got two of the batteries so I need to switch it over but I don't have the right tools I don't have a proper um, spanner or anything so um, um, I've got an emergency gallon of water drinking water that I can use to have something to eat and drink um, it is what it is it'll be all right um, do I feel fed up? I do feel fed up. But she is in half Renault and I think the only thing that's happened now that would piss me off is for the the lines to let get loose and I'll, I'll saunter off down. I wake up in Bronson Tunnel. But yeah, um, Good morning. Oh, I have a lot to do today and I feel overwhelmed already. <laughs> um, I've got to sort out my batteries as I can't move. I've also got to walk and find a shop to get some provisions and some tools um, and some water. Um, I just feel a bit stuck. People who usually do these sort of adventures with a partner or whatever you've always got someone else to rely on like emotionally or physically I, I just have myself and, and Elizabeth's running down empty I've got it, uh, I know I just need to get out there and try and work out the batteries but um yeah I'm a bit tired I'm just a bit tired of additional things happening, but there's no avoiding it. I'm gonna have to just crack on. I just wish things were easier, you know. I I love my boat. I love boat life. It's just um, I love relying on myself, but sometimes it is exhausting. So, I've had no power, don't know what's up, see what I find. Visions. This is a bit difficult. We're just on the main road in Daventry. This is nice. Oh, don't want to die, don't want to die, don't want to die, don't want to die. Why do cars speed up when you do that? Sweet baby Jesus. We have a Tesco and a pub. Oh. I won't be going into the pub unless I have half a cider and charge for my shit. Oh, I could do that, couldn't I? Just, oh no, there's a play pit. Don't think so. Yeah. Okay, I've got my provisions. I'm just walking back to the boat. Hey, 
did I bloody pack it? I hope that's my boat ahead. I don't have any glasses, but yeah, just gonna get something to eat and then start doing the trip around about seven o'clock. And yeah, I'm feeling nervous, guys. I'm feeling so scared. But you know, what's the worst that can happen? I barge up on the sides, I bash into the sides, I've still got to go forward. So, oh God. Anyway, this is what I'm prepping for. Food will help, food will help. At bloody last, there she is. I'm home. So, uh, I'm sure you'd like to know what else has happened. Just got back. Thought, you know what? I'm just gonna run it for a little bit. Get in. Just gonna run it for a little bit. Warm up the engine. Oh yeah, nothing's happening. Batteries say they're okay. Fuel is okay. <laughs> it's just getting to the part now where it's not funny anymore. And at this rate, I'm stuck here for another night. I, I, I don't know how to troubleshoot this. No. <laughs> I'm a bloody genius. It's working. It's working. It's working. Yes! <laughs> I did it, mother. And now it's started bloody raining. Oh. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm really scared, but I've just got to do it, haven't I? This is her up ahead. Okay, I can't tell you how scared I feel. I feel so scared, but I've got to do it. Braunston Tunnel was intimidating, but to get home, I knew I had to face my fear. And besides, what was the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs>